you and Big Sean, who are both from Detroit. Yes. You guys actually have a couple songs together. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realize um, that you were on, on the album with Metro Boomin. Yeah. Yeah, so good. That was a dope one. And then he came back and did Ready, Set. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you guys hook up? Like, how, how did that whole, whole thing come together? Um, you, How do we hook up? We just start following each other on Twitter. And he DM'd me. And um, we exchanged numbers. And we just always kept in contact. We just like, oh, okay, you know, because I remember Sean in the, in the city. You know, he was, you know, I remember when he was doing his first mixtape parties and stuff like that. So... You know, I was excited because it's like he's like one of the biggest artists coming out of Detroit. So I was excited. And uh, then one time he hit me and asked me, could I do a verse on something? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> and he sent it and I loved the song. I went right into the studio and sent it right back. Yeah, So Good was dope. I was a fan of the song before I realized that you were actually on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's an amazing yeah. song. Mm -hmm. so, so, and I guess when you were kind of at a low point, Drake had hit you up and had you open up. Uh, for him during his was it summer sixteen tour. Yeah, yeah, he sure did. He DM me and asked me to come out because he was gonna be in Michigan, and I was like, of course. And I came out and opened up, fucked it up, bivied it, as he said, and um, we've been friends ever since. Okay, now there's a picture of you and Drake. Mm -hmm. Drake is like giving you a hug. Yeah. Which you know, in the world of hip hop, this is this is regular. Yeah, you know, it's normal. If I'm at a party and there's females around, I'm taking pictures with females and they're taking pictures with me and everything else like that. But I guess your boyfriend broke up with you over that picture? <laughs> I don't even know who this guy is anymore. He don't even <laughs> matter. I don't even want to talk about nothing about this guy. <laughs> he don't even matter anymore. So, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even talking about him. He don't even know. <laughs> uh, okay. Well... Originally, you know, when we talked about you were in a bad place, you were in a bad contract when you originally signed. Yeah. And I guess Eminem's lawyer helped you get out of that contract? Yes. Howard. Okay. Yep. yep. Howard helped me get out of it. He's like one of the best lawyers in Michigan. He is. And he helped me get out of it. It took a while. It was two years I was stuck in that situation. But it took a while. And I'm here now. I'm so excited. Okay, did you ever get to hook up with Eminem at all or do any music with Not him? yet, not yet, but I am. I know I am. Because we, we, got, we got a mutual friend and I'm going to get to him. And I am. And I'm going to get a yeah, record I'm, with him. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you talk about big rappers from Detroit. <laughs> yeah, he is the one, you know. Yeah. Well, you, you talked about you know, the effects of colorism in the music industry. And I guess there was a situation where a producer wouldn't put out a clear track that you did unless they put on, like, a, a light-skinned girl on the hook or, or something like that? Nah. Whatever. Nah. It ain't worth talking about either. Okay. That track not on my new project, Stacked. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the new project. Yeah, let's talk about Stacked. Okay. Okay, why that name? Stacked, because stack means so many different things, right? Stack could mean, you know, I'm stacked up on songs. Stack could mean that my body is stacked. Stack could mean I'm money stacked. Stack could mean that I got houses stacked. I got my career stacked. My investing stacked. I'm just stacked. I feel like that is something that you can, like, to, now I call it stack timber. Because it's September, stack timber. Then we're going to have stock, stacktober. So I just feel like, you know, it's motivating. You know, stacking is motivating. You always got to get in that mood to stack. You got to get in grind mode, you know. Um, so it just means a lot, you know what I'm saying? To just stack, building bricks like I've been doing all this time. I've been stacking bricks and being able to get to this point where I'm at with my career. So. And uh, the Lil Wayne song is going to be on this project? Yes. Kit. Okay. How did you guys hook up? Lil Wayne, um, his daughter, Regine. Yeah, ah. Lil Wayne, yeah. His daughter, Regine. No, I seen him in, um, he was in Michigan. I was like, oh my God, I need to go see Lil Wayne. So I hit up Regine and I was like, your dad gonna be here. There's any way that I could meet him. So she gave me Uncle Mac number. I hit up Uncle Mac. Uncle Mac hooked me up and I met him backstage and he was so cool and he was like, ice me out. And I was like, 
did you just say ice me up? <laughs> you know, because it's like Lil Wayne. That's like the GOAT. So I was like, oh, my God, I was excited. We took a picture, and then he was like, we got to work together one day. I'm like, hell, yeah, like, because I ain't want to just overdo it and say that, even though I was thinking it. But when he said it, I'm like, hell, yeah, of course. So I sit and originate a song, like, see if your daddy like this or whatever. Probably about oh, three weeks later, she like, my dad finished the song. I'm about to send it to you. I was like, are you serious? Because I kind of, I just... I don't know. I just go with my flow. You know what I mean? And she sent it to me, and it was fire. And look, the rest is history. It's definitely going on my project. I would definitely love to see Lil Wayne name on my track list of my first album. It's crazy.